Hello everybody, uh, my, uh, it's Dogo Halibar here again, um, uh, today is May 4th, 2016, and, uh, since, uh, since, uh, it's taking a while to re rebuild my video library, I decided to do an extra vlog thi thing, and, uh, basically, uh, if you follow Versus series like, for, uh, YouTubers who do Versus series like uh, Evan Nova 95, Gen Sarai 1, uh, Grey Jedi 91, they do a th thing called the Star Wars Questionnaire. Here, uh, ba basically, uh, in our Star Wars day, uh, I'm going to do it. I'm not sure how many people are going to see it, but, uh, if you get enjoyment out of this, if you like what you hear, if you want to debate me about some of my answers, that's fine. I just have to be civil. Also, uh, if you're interested, uh, stay tuned to the end, and I'll make an announcement of a video I have planned, hopefully, for next month. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah. Anyway, uh, the Star Wars questionnaire. Question one, Jedi or Sith? Uh, I think I'd be a Jedi, or at least I'd hope I'd because, uh, to be honest, uh, being a Jedi would be, to be honest, I think uh, to a lot of people it would be more fulfilling, though I'd hope to be more of a Jedi from, like, the E. Luke Skywalker, where you could have, like, a life, a life pretty much like, you wouldn't have to, like, worry about attachment and things, you could have, like, women have a family, because I think that was the main failing of the Old Order, and my friend, uh, Schooner Tuna, who I will, who is, like, makes a couple, has made a couple videos and is a, and is a very great guy, uh, he and I agree that the Jedi Order's main failing from the prequels was they didn't evolve, as, uh, the Revenge of the Sith novelization put it. Uh, the Jedi were training to refight the old wars and stuff when the Sith had evolved. Uh, so, yeah, I would be a Jedi and stuff, but, uh, je more along the Jedi of a new order. So, uh, what is my favorite world? Uh, that's, that's a tough one. Uh, uh, to be honest, to go with a more, uh, st stereotypical answer, I'm gonna go with Naboo. Mostly because even with uh, things like Garth Plagueis dirtying the world up a little, it's still like an amazing uh, place in my opinion. Just like uh, this big, uh, beautiful place from the movies. And uh, yeah, like basically, well, yeah, I just love the way it looks. And I'd love to just like walk around the place and just sort of see uh, things up close like that big uh, thieves palace and stuff. Uh, lightsaber type color in combat? Uh, let's see. Uh, I'd want, like, uh, a regular kind of lightsaber. Saber? Technically, too, because I'm a sucker for Jar Kai, and like an idiot, I'd go for Flash over Substance. But, uh, color? Probably green, because I'm not the strongest guy, so my style would probably be a Soreso Shien mix because it would make, because it would be like fairly defensive and like it'd just be sort of, uh, and basically I already practiced those uh, Shien sort of twirls like that sort of stuff. And yeah, that was the end of that one. Favorite species? Uh, to be honest, hands down Zabrax. I just, uh, they look cool. Uh, their physiology is not like unique, uh, cause it's more or less a time lord's physiology from Doctor Who, but, uh, the, but basically how, not physiology, biology, like that double heart thing, but, um, uh, the Zabrex just sort of strike me as interesting, uh, pretty mu much, uh, I guess I can't put it into words, but I think it's, uh, basically the fact that they're very striking, they're close enough to humans that I can project myself into them a little bit, and, uh, yeah, so that's Zabrex. What is my favorite vehicle? Uh, 
the Jedi Delta Sevens. I just think they have they're like very sort of uh, streamlined, uniformed, and uh, I think and uh, they had like this really nice sort of uh, simplistic uh, design to them. And I did not realize until like watching the behind the scenes stuff for Attack of the Clones that it was supposed to be like representative of Star Destroyers. So yeah. That was a thing. And uh let's see, uh if you were a Je if I was a Jedi, which master would I have? Uh ah. uh let's see, uh to be honest, I probably would want Qui Gon as my master. No no strike the now, yeah, Qui-Gon Jinn is my master because he'd be wise. He'd be able to sort of, like, speak to me, like, as an equal and sort of... He also, he'd also probably encourage me to, like, get my strength, like, more up to par so that I could, like, actually, like, uh, be combative and not, like, reactive all the time because that could get, get me in a lot of trouble. If I was a Sith, what master would I have... Uh, I know Jensurai and Evan Nova ninety five already did this for the people who have done who have seen their videos, but I'd go with Darth Plagueis largely because he wouldn't want to kill. He wouldn't like be uh, afraid of me. Me like sort of uh, basically sort of trying to get uh, treat me as an equal and sort of and that sort of thing. So I think the main problem is I'm not, like, super ambitious, so I don't think I'd make it as a Sith at all, pretty much. But, uh, anyway, on that note, what would my Sith name be? Uh, I'd go with Darth Vengeus, uh, mostly because, uh, if I was a Sith Lord, basically I just, uh, I, I lost people, uh, a, a lot of time times in the past, and uh, so, a lot of times when it happens, there's just that that anger that you just feel that you can't really control, has no real reason, and if I was a Sith Lord, I think that anger would just, like, explode out of me, so I think that would be where a lot of my dark side would come from, just that, that anger of loss and stuff. What is my favorite Star Wars movie? I'm that rare guy who like likes the prequels unironically, so I am gonna say episode two, Attack of the Clones. Now, I, I am not saying it is the best made. Made is just my favorite, largely because uh, it focuses more on character stuff. Because basically, the other six movies are like very plot driven. Like this thing happens, which compels a person to do this and that and this. Uh, basically, because the sub-genres of Episode 2 are detective and uh, uh, romance, those are stories that kind of depend on the character driving the plot and stuff, like figuring things out. So, pretty, so yeah, just like that unique sort of like uh, th thing kind of made uh, that one my favorite, though. I will admit the Empire Strikes Back probably is the best ma made and stuff stuff in terms of suspense and like um, ambience and that sort of stuff. What is my least favorite Star Wars movie? Like I said, I like all of them. I don't hate any of them, but I am going to say Phantom Menace mostly because uh, George Lucas used Jar Jar too much and Jake Lloyd I'm sorry. Sorry, I don't mean to be mean, but he was not not all that good in that movie and stuff. Like the the one scene that I thought he did good in was when he was saying goodbye to his mom, but that was about it. I think it might have just been like reflection from like uh, the actress doing Shmi, pretty much. Uh, anyway, moving on. If I could write my own Star Wars novel, what would it be about? Uh, to be honest, I kind of do like a James Luceno thing on Count Dooku. Uh, pretty much sort of going from when he was knighted all the way to like, uh, after Qui-Gon dies and he succumbs to the Sith. Mostly because I think that's like an interesting story in and of itself. 
Uh, it features, um, it would of course feature like his training Qui-Gon, uh, re-canonizing Kamari Vasa at this point, and, uh, let's see, uh, just pretty much stuff like that. That, and, uh, and let's see, okay. uh, yeah, no, nah, I, uh, basically that's like the long and short of that novel and stuff, because I think that's like the really big untapped thing. Uh, which film has my favorite soundtrack? That is going to be... Uh, yeah, I gotta go with Revenge of the Sith, largely because of that song, uh, when, when Obi-Wan and Anakin are dueling, because basically it's sort of like epitomizing what both characters, mostly Obi-Wan, are going through, like, just sort of, like, fighting their own brother sort of stuff. Uh, do I collect figures? No. In my opinion, what is the best thing about the EU? Honestly, I like how basically, uh, sort of, the EU can sort of flesh things out, like, uh, the biggest example for me is basically sort of, uh, when Yoda says, always two, there are no more, no less, a master and an apprentice in episode one. The Darth Bane trilogy outright spells out why that is, why that happened, and, uh, basically, like, just sort of goes through this in such a great way that I am just, uh, enthrall, enthralled, entertained, and sort of, like, informed a little bit about the universe. In my opinion, what is the worst thing about the EU? Uh, I'm gonna say, like, basically, the worst thing, um, is that too many people want to work on the Clone Wars. They want, I, and I think that's because, like, before the prequels, it was, like, this big, mysterious thing, and everyone always went, oh, what were the Clone Wars, right? I would love to know about the Clone Wars. So, basically, when those people become the creators, they go, okay, I'm going to do this with the Clone Wars and stuff, to the point where, basically, the thing is, the, like, whole, like, point between Episode 2 and 3 is just sort of, like, convoluted as all heck and stuff, which is, like... Which is, uh, sad. I mean, I'm not saying those stories are bad. I'm just saying, like, it overpopulates that time frame. So there's, like, a lot of sort of confusion about sort of things. And final question. What does Star Wars mean to me? Uh, to me, Star Wars is the, the story, uh, the movies, anyway, are, uh, the story about a family. Pretty much like uh, the story of uh, the Skywalker family and how it went from like this little kid who had nothing like getting on this great adventure and like losing one family getting an uh, and in the process of getting another before like he loses that because of his own sort of paranoia about losing them and then basically he has a chance to get it back he sort of takes it and that story of redemption uh, which is also throughout, uh, pretty much the whole, uh, franchise and stuff. So, family and redemption are pretty much what I take away from Star Wars. And, so, yeah, that was my questionnaire. And what's going, and, uh, basic, and basically, uh, the thing I'm going to announce is that, uh, hopefully by sometime in June, I am going to do a versus video. Um, I'm not going to say, say what exactly, because I got an idea of what I want to do with it, but, uh, basically I still have to do, like, sort of research for, like, the various things and stuff, and, uh, basically if you want to check that out, uh, keep an eye on, uh, the on my channel, and if you liked this video and would like to see more vlogs of me talking about uh, Star Wars, Doctor Who, Star Trek, uh, Dragon Ball, uh, any of that sort of stuff, uh, I like uh, a bunch of different things, so just say, hey, you like this, uh, please talk about it. I will be happy to do that, and in the meantime, uh, this is Dogo Halibar saying stay imaginative, and 
May the fourth be with you, always.